priority for South Sudan Camp Coordination and Camp Management for 2021 uh, will be three different approaches. We are seeing uh, the movement of IDPs from displacement to possible return areas will gain momentum in 2021. And therefore, we need to be able to respond to the immediate needs. One of the priorities I'm going to use to is the, the current camp management in the POC or IDP camps will remain. And that's a static response to do core camp management activities. The other priority where we're seeing IDPs moving in urban areas and out of camps, we will use the roving response where our partners will be stationed in a state capital and be able to reach to the displacement location within that state. Both those displaced in camp-like settings and those outside of the camp. The other response, the, the context we are working in, there's conflict going on and there is also natural disaster, flooding that caused a number of displacement in the year. So our team will be using a mobile response to reach out to those that are newly displaced and be able to quickly respond to their camp management needs. My name is William Begley. I'm the area coordinator for ACTED in Greater Equatorius in South Sudan. And we're in a very unique place at the moment, a Juba POC, which was established by the UN mission uh, in South Sudan in 2013 as a protection of civilian sites during the civil war. But since then, the country has come a very long way, implementing a peace deal with the unity government. Uh, and the next step in that peace process is for the POCs to transition into an IDP designated site. So as camp management, we're working very hard with the cluster uh, with the mission, but with, most importantly with the IDPs to ensure that this process is smooth and accountable uh, and to protect the people that live here and the vibrant culture that, that they have brought.